first glance, the Banner Saga 2 doesn't look or play much differently from its acclaimed 2014 counterpart, but the differences are in the details, and they generally work to good effect. While the story suffers from a middle episode feel, new enemies and new strategies make the turn-based tactical combat more enjoyable than ever. The Banner Saga 2 starts out mere moments after the events of the first game, but a short recap video and the option to import a save file make it easy to drop back in, or you can start from scratch with either one if you want to change. The overall story follows pretty much the same path regardless of which hero you choose, but I found that the tone changed enough to make a replay worthwhile. Start off as the Ranger Rook, for instance, and you'll watch how he threatens to become reckless in the face of the losses he suffered. I prefer to play as Alette as the unfolding tale follows her development as a leader and winning the confidence of her soldiers. But the Banner Saga 2 smartly shakes things up by occasionally shifting the setting to tell the story of Bulwark, the mercenary berserker, and his followers. Bulwark and his shield maiden arguably become the true main characters of the sequel, and his sellsword background allows for more brutal and callous choices than you'll get with the other protagonists. That's appropriate, because this bleak world requires them. The difference is, now that characters inhabit its bleakness comfortably, the strength of the tale springs from its ability to inspire sheer wonder as it introduces many new settings that differ from the original snowy mountains. Some of the sequences, in fact, are downright fantastical and weird, in a good way, and it's a welcome alternative to the constant melancholy. The catch? While the tales it tells are memorable and beautifully woven, the Banner Saga 2's story doesn't feel quite as neatly self-contained as the one we experienced two years ago. While there's some closure to the main threads, it's a definite middle episode, as there's an overall sense of events falling into place in preparation for the third act of the planned trilogy. The excellent tactical combat remains much the same as before. You arrange your heroes on a gridded battlefield and duke it out with the guys on the other side. Thankfully, the Banner Saga 2 makes improvements with variety. There are versatile new units to both fight and play as. For instance, centaur warriors who can travel long distances and retreat after attacking. Elsewhere, you'll find Lovecraftian monsters who cause you to damage allies, and you'll find both friendly and enemy units who can stealth through the battlefield and make massive cuts in armor. The battlefields themselves are better than their comparatively static predecessors. For one thing, some battlefields have specific victory conditions aside from killing all enemies, meaning that you'll win if you kill a key enemy or finish a specific task such as digging away snow while fighting off baddies. The Banner Saga 2 also breaks up monotony with obstacles in the field, but some of these are better than others. Sometimes the obstacles amount to mere barrels, but sometimes they're gaps in the floor that help lure foes into bottlenecks. At other times, you'll find yourselves in settings such as a longhouse where a fire pit and benches line the floor. I found this last setting made victory a tad too easy as the AI was prone to mindlessly walking through the fire and taking damage while I waited for them to approach. The Banner Saga 2 doesn't change much of the experience that made the original such a well-loved surprise two years ago, and that's a good thing. The improvements may be small, but they're also substantial. The new combat units, the introduction of a second caravan story to follow, and the obstacles in the battlefield add up nicely. While beautifully written and populated with memorable characters and twists, the story does slightly suffer from a case of the middle episodes that may leave you eager for more. On the bright side, we know that more is on the way in a third and final installment. For more about the Banner Saga 2, stick with IGN.